Good morning! It's our second day here in Beijing. We are James and Kelly with two tickets around the world. We are currently living in China teaching English. On our weekends and holidays, we get out to explore, bringing you along with us. Today, we are exploring Beijing and the Hutong alleyways. Got ourselves some Starbucks, and we are going to the Forbidden City first. Today, we're going to see Forbidden City and the Summer Palace, two very important sites here in Beijing. So, we're walking around, and we've noticed today, and we also saw last night, that there is a lot of ID checkpoints where you have to stop and show your ID. So um, just make sure you bring it with you at all times. We're actually about to come up to another one. So if you look, they check every single person, even if you're just walking on the street. Currently on a mission to find the entrance into the Forbidden City. Could be why it's considered forbidden. <laughs> So we are still not in the Forbidden Palace. We tried to go through the south entrance. They told us to go to the west entrance. And the first gate we got to, we decided to walk in and we went and bought tickets. And the tickets were only three quads. So we're like, dang, super cheap. And we walked in and we realized, oh, this isn't the Forbidden Palace. This is the park right before the Forbidden Palace. This is Zhongshan Park. It's actually quite nice. And you can see behind me, that is where we want to go. That is the Forbidden Palace. So we're gonna try to find our way there right now while walking through this park quickly, but you know, still trying to enjoy it. Hopefully get into the Forbidden Palace. So let's go. The guy allowed us to come in to go to the service window to ask for help. They told us we can't buy tickets, we have to use online. And we we're like, okay, well, we don't know how to do that. And then they finally helped us and we got to the app. The next available time is October 21st, in a week, and we're not gonna be here. So if you are coming to Beijing, especially during this time, buy your tickets in advance for the Forbidden City. They sell 80,000 tickets a day and they're booked for six days straight without any tickets available, which is pretty impressive. We thought that we would be able to buy tickets because the holiday's over, but it's definitely not over for the thousands and thousands of people waiting to get in. Just kind of see what all we can see and I convinced James to go and get sushi and that's kind of hard sometimes because usually it's not about getting sushi but here we are. I have a shrimp tempura roll and miso soup and then James got a salmon rice lunch set. So I was still hungry so I ordered a set and I actually got three different types of sushi and a salad. Some more miso soup, and they custard, and some ginger. So if you come to WF Central, Beijing, you can go to the Cheesecake Factory, or you can come to Hatsume for sushi. So we're not going to go to the Summer Palace today because it takes an hour to get there from our hotel. So we are looking in our lovely China book to see what all we can do for the rest of the day. We're thinking of going to the Hu Tung side streets, which apparently is just old back alleyways. It should be fun to walk around. Scan QR code. Wait. Unlock. Throw your phone into the basket. Then you ride. We 
are now at the Hutong alleyways. There are quite a few different little souvenir shops or just gift shops. We are on our way to the first stop in the alley tour. Um, our first stop in the alleys is the mansion. Look. <laughs> so as I was walking, uh, I missed the uh, mansion. Which is these the only thing left. Are these stone drum stones. Stone drum stones. got this like little walking tour thing from the Lonely Planet book. So we're just kind of following the directions that it says. Look at that little guy. <laughs> and yeah, we're just walking. And what does this stop take us to? We're going to stop at Historic, historic Mao or Hutong. Looks admire like. the entrance ways or if the gates are open step into the charm charming courtyards at number five and eleven mm. five mm. and eleven look out for them uh, <laughs> Number two. Four. I think this is five. Five, five is close. So we are supposed to admire doorway. And this is number six. Pretty. They have a little Buddha under a tree up at the top. <laughs> so this was Wen Yu's mansion. And fun fact, they actually gave it as a North Korean embassy. When you're walking around the hutongs, don't look down. Look up and look at the paintings on the roofs of all the houses around this area. We made it to number 37, which is the house of the woman that married the last emperor of China. We cannot enter. It says no visitors on the door. All of these say no visitors. So we're gonna make a little pit stop on our tour in the Hutongs. Let's go to a brewery. Where's the entrance? What? Right? Right? Right. right. Wait, here. <laughs> we stopped in for a beer. That's mine. We have the raspberry IPA. Gold. These are the two IPAs. IPAs. I don't know. But Need a little refresher. Okay, uh, two tongue. It's getting a little chilly. So it's getting cold. We need a windbreaker. Just like an umbrella. Carry a jacket. Yeah. After our 
two pit stops for beer and some puppies. We made it to the drum tower. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. We've made it to the last stop of our Hu Tong walking tour. We came to the bell tower and the drum tower, which is behind you. And now we're gonna go grab some dinner. So like we've said in Shanghai, we don't really like to get like Chinese food while we are in the bigger cities because this is where all the international food is and we mi definitely miss home. So we're going to a Mexican restaurant for dinner. Mexican! We have made it to the Mexican restaurant. It's called Pebbles Courtyard. It's pretty small. So. Pebbles Courtyard. In we go. So we've made it to the Mexican restaurant. If you want a beer, they have Slow Boat Brewery, which is a local brewery here in town. We're getting some glass of margaritas, and it's buy one, get one free. So we got pretty lucky. And I'm excited. <laughs> you made my day. You made my day. You made my day. Oh. Pico de gallo, guacamole, salsa, chips. How's the guac? Guac is good. Margarita. Just. I got the chicken. Carnitas burrito. It's weird that they wrap them in tin foil. Tin foil. Okay, if it's not good with Pico de Gallo, it's not going to be good at all. Remember? 